now. Dr. Reddy's is one of the few companies which is actually losing in trade today. Uh, it has actually recovered quite a bit. It's at the high point now. But this is after it was uh, named a defendant in a litigation file against companies manufacturing Revlimid generic, which is around an $8 billion drug. There's also a couple of uh, mid-cap pharma companies which are in focus on the back of brokerage notes which have come through. So Ekta is here to tell us more about that. Ekta. Well, I'll start with the frontline stocks which are in focus. So Dr. Reddy's has been named along with several other pharma companies with regards to a complaint which is filed in a U.S. court by Mayo Clinic as well as LifePoint Corporate Services. Now, this is with regards to the blockbuster cancer drug Revlimid Generic which, is worth around, which has made sales of around $8 billion before it went generic in 2022. The claims are that uh, there was improper competition, there was shared monopoly in the sale of brand as well as the generic Revlimid through respective settlements which took place. Now, Ilara says that typically these litigations drag on for years. Uh, this is before there is any type of settlement uh, in terms of amounts which could range anywhere between 20 to even 40 percent. Dr. Reddy's, for example, has about 50 percent of profits from Revlimid Generic. Sun Sipla Zydus Revlimid Generic could be around 15 to 20 percent in terms of profit. So it's definitely a risk going forward that eventually there could be even further litigations with regards to Revlimid Generic for a couple of these companies, that's according to analysts, plus the settlement account could be a question mark, something that we could probably see a couple of years down the line, not to mention that there will be litigation costs which would be involved with this as well. Now, separately, we do have a couple of stocks which are in focus on account of brokerage notes. So, Macquarie, for example, has an outperform. They've raised their target price on mankind to around 2,000 rupees. They've increased their earnings uh, in terms of uh, FI24, FI25 and 26, reflecting faster growth for chronic therapies and a mild benefit from the ongoing US generic disruption. Macquarie has written, also written on Eris Life. They have an outperform and they've raised the target price to triple one zero, reflecting upward earnings revision, a roll forward to September 25 earnings and an increase in the PE multiple to 27 times from 22 times. All right, that is on some of the pharma stocks which are in focus. Ekta, thanks a lot for that.